Welcome to a new week of The Rundown. On this episode, modernization of the Navy's performance evaluation system. The e Selection Board is set to reconvene and information on improving mental health. Last week, CMP announced that the Navy is moving forward in its efforts to modernize our performance evaluation system to provide more meaningful, frequent, and useful feedback to sailors and to more objectively measure sailors' performance. Additionally, CMP highlighted that we want to objectively measure sailors' performance and also remove artificialities in our current system, such as tendencies of reporting seniors to rate individuals by seniority rather than talent. Commander Naval Personnel Rear Admiral Rich Brown said that transforming the way we measure sailors' performance will ultimately provide better transparency, counseling opportunities, and a more accurate assessment of our individual's talent. You can read details in our story on Navy.mil. The Fiscal Year 18 E-9 Selection Board is scheduled to reconvene July 24th. All candidates eligible at the time of the original board suspension are still eligible. Board eligible senior chiefs with a higher tenure between 1 July and 30 November may request a waiver to remain board eligible. Details on eligibility, board membership, how eligible officers and master chiefs can volunteer to sit on the board, and more can be found in NAV Admin 111-17. Sales with questions can contact NPC Customer Service at 866-US-NPC or via email at usnpc at navy.mil. Finally, Naval Hospital Jacksonville released a story that discusses facts surrounding mental health. Around 21% of active duty sailors were diagnosed with a mental health disorder in 2015. Sailors can help improve their mental health by maintaining healthy sleeping, eating, and exercise habits. The story also explains how to spot symptoms of mental health distress and the importance of a support system to help deal with stressors. Sailors can receive 24-7 confidential support from the Military Crisis Line. Read our story on Navy.mil for more information and additional links. That's all for this week. For any questions, you can send us a message at usnpeople.fct at Navy.mil. For the Chief Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.